Good day everybody, it's Andrew here and welcome back to my channel. We have huge updates today on the next stimulus package and social security benefits. In this video, we're going to update you on exactly what's going on with negotiations and we're going to cover a plan that Bernie Sanders once proposed to give seniors a $250 stimulus check. So let's discuss the details, but before we jump into it, do me a quick favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and share this channel with anyone who you think might find this helpful. I also have a second channel, so if you could do me a huge favor, click on the link that's in the description of this video, subscribe to my second channel. The link to that is going to be in the comments of this video, and on that channel, I'm going to be giving away stimulus checks. We're going to have some updates, but it's going to be more of an entertainment channel where I'm going to be on screen playing bingo live so you can play bingo with me there's going to be a chat so you can chat with me and chat with other people who are playing bingo we're also going to play casino games and play the lottery as well so if you really want to support my work subscribe to that second channel it's going to be in the comments of this video and again i'm going to be giving stimulus checks away there hopefully once a week at first and then i'm hoping even more depending on how big the channel gets all right folks so let's jump right into it What's going on with current stimulus negotiations? Let's cover an idea that Bernie Sanders once proposed, which was to give seniors $250 stimulus checks. Before we jump into that, though, let's do a quick update on daily trending news. Now, Bob Dole, the Republican senator, he served from the 60s to the 90s, a little bit less than 30 years, as Republican senator, has passed away. Now, Bob Dole dies at 98, leaving lasting legacies on Social Security and food assistance. Now, not only was Bob Dole the Senate Majority Leader and one of the most influential Republican senators in U.S. history, he was actually a huge advocate for Social Security benefits and for SNAP benefits. Let's take a look here. One more try on Social Security. In 1981, President Ronald Reagan asked Dole, then the chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. So basically, he was in Bernie Sanders' position, except as a Republican. So President Ronald Reagan, in 1981, asked him to serve on a new National Commission on Social Security Reform. Now, the problem the group faced was a mighty one, as the retirement security program, many feared, headed for financial ruin. In 1983, after over a year of gridlock, Senator Dole led a last-ditch effort to find a deal. He succeeded and eventually worked out a bill with Democratic Senator of New York. The resulting legislation reshaped the program by increasing the payroll tax rate, adding more workers to the system, and slowly increasing the benefits age. So Bob Dole was instrumental in preserving Social Security benefits. Although he didn't necessarily expand it, they or increase benefits, they increased the payroll tax rate, meaning this was a Republican who was willing to increase taxes on basically everyone, including the rich, to pay more taxes into the Social Security system to make sure it could be preserved. Of course, they also slowly increased the benefits age, which really didn't affect that many people until recently, and now you have to be a little bit older to retire, but they looked at that as a necessary evil to preserve the system. But really interesting to see there was a Republican that was willing to raise taxes to take care of people on Social Security benefits. Even Ronald Reagan was a Republican, right? Bob Dole, a Republican. And they did the right thing to take care of seniors. So guys, this is a huge example of what Democrats and Republicans should be doing now. If Republicans were willing to raise taxes to take care of seniors, they should be willing to do it now. And let me know in the comments if you agree. I mean, things are harder now more than ever for seniors with inflation being so high, the cost of medication skyrocketing, and quite frankly, being in the middle of a pandemic. We live in a world where families with kids are getting monthly stimulus checks every single month. If you have a kid, 17 years old or younger, you're getting a monthly stimulus check. Don't get me wrong. Families need help. Kids need help. But seniors need help more than anyone else, guys. And let me know in the comments if you agree. Now, in 2009, political historian Matthew Delick wrote that the law cemented a reigning political consensus on Social Security, that it could not be obliterated. Just a few years prior, Reagan had criticized the program and even suggested it should be voluntary. So... It looks like sometime in the late 70s, Ronald Reagan was actually criticizing Social Security and said, hey, maybe we make Social Security a voluntary thing. Like, if you want to pay into the system, you can, and then you'll get a benefit, but you're not forced to. That would basically cripple Social Security and end the program as we know it, because all the rich people, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't do it, right? 
And then all the people who are low income or regular income would basically get shafted because of that, right? So really kind of crazy to see how Ronald Reagan initially wanted to cut Social Security and was even saying it should be voluntary. Then he changed his mind and actually helped to preserve Social Security. So really interesting fact there. And Bob Dole was instrumental in making that happen. So our thoughts go out to Bob Dole and his family. He was such a huge advocate for seniors. So just wanted to take a moment to point that out. Now, upon signing the bill in 1983, Reagan said, today all of us can look at each other square in the eye and say, we kept our promises. Look at that. Ronald Reagan pointing out the fact that he could look at the American people and say he kept his promise. Something we're still waiting for President Biden to do, right? Which is the point of this channel, to keep President Biden honest and hold him to his word. President Biden promised to increase Social Security benefits. He promised to increase SSI and SSDI. He promised to do a stimulus check for seniors. And here we are about 11 months into the presidency, and we still don't have any of these things, folks. Don't get me wrong. I think it's coming. It's just taking way too long. And the good folks who are retired, people on SSI and SSDI, have been waiting way too long for this stimulus check. And guys, let me know in the comments if you agree. Now, Bob Dole also left a huge impact on the SNAP program. The food stamp program is another facet of American life that Bob Dole left a key imprint on, though it had already existed for decades when he got closely involved in the late 1970s. He had long worked closely on agriculture policy, a key priority for his Kansas constituents, and the two issues are often linked together in legislation. Dole found an unlikely ally in liberal Senator George McGovern of South Dakota, and they fashioned a deal that significantly reformed the program. They worked with a group of senators, including Hubert Humphrey of Minnesota, to tackle issues like purchase requirements that left some poor people unable to afford the program. The purchase requirement was a contentious issue, but they eventually got it done. The final bill eliminated the requirement and also reflected key Republican priorities by encouraging work. It tightened eligibility requirements by penalizing people who voluntarily quit their jobs and then applied for the program and also eliminating some college students from the program. So the big deal here was that it, it eliminated the purchase requirements that people actually purchased stamps and participation that month jumped by $1.5 million. So basically they expanded SNAP benefits and made it easier for those who are genuinely low income to qualify for these benefits, but kind of made it more difficult if you were just purposely quitting your job to get food stamps. So pretty interesting. Thought it was a pretty cool thing to see how Bob Dole advocated for seniors and advocated for SNAP benefits as well. So with that said, let's jump right into stimulus and what's happening with negotiations today. Then we're going to talk about a $250 stimulus check for seniors that Bernie Sanders once proposed to give everybody on Social Security benefits. Now, it's a huge week for stimulus as the government is doing so many things at once. They're trying to get the stimulus package done, and Bernie Sanders is trying to include a $1,000 stimulus check in that stimulus package. At the same time, on December 15th, the U.S. is going to hit its borrowing limit, meaning it needs to raise the debt ceiling, otherwise it's going to default on its debts. We also have a spending bill on the Defense Act that needs to be done as well, basically the annual spending on military and defense. So all of this is happening at once. It's really crazy right now. All of this is happening as Chuck Schumer is trying to get the stimulus package done before Christmas. So all of these things are tied in together. It's really crazy right now, folks. As we're hoping to get this done before Christmas, it would be really nice to see seniors get a stimulus check before the holiday, right? That would be such a huge help. Now, this video clip does a really good job of kind of highlighting everything that's going on, all of these different packages that Democrats are trying to get done at once. So let's take a quick look. It's like two minutes. Then we'll talk about the checks that Bernie Sanders is trying to approve for seniors. Capitol, the building behind me, they've managed to avoid one crisis. Now on, they lurch to the next, it seems. After avoiding a government shutdown overnight, lawmakers are looking at a hefty pre-holiday to-do list. Let's bring in NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Sahil Kapoor. Sahil, uh, talk us through what is on that list ahead of the new year for Congress. And hefty is almost understating it, Hallie. Yes, they avoided mm -hmm. a government shutdown, but there's a lot for them to do before they want to go home uh, for the Christmas and New Year holiday. So let's go through it. There's the National Defense Authorization Bill, the massive uh, Pentagon package that they have to get done. Senator Marco Rubio threw a wrench into that this week over demands. This is a matter of when, not if. They'll get this done. Uh, they just need to get consent 
to do it quickly and move some things around the edges. There's the issue of the debt limit. They have to raise that to prevent a catastrophic economic meltdown. The temperature on this one has cooled quite a bit. Uh, Chuck Schumer, the Democrat, and uh, Mitch McConnell, the top Republican, are talking. They're not acrimonious about this like last time. It's not unclear how it gets done, but it, it will get done. Then, of course, there's the Build Back Better Act, the major piece of President Biden's agenda that Democrats are looking to get done. The best case scenario is they, they uh, vote on it uh, the week after next week, which would be the week before Christmas, but they have to resolve some policy disputes within their ranks uh, over issues like paid leave and the state and local tax deduction, and they have to run everything by the parliamentarian to make sure it all complies with the rules. Uh, unclear what exactly the timeline would be, and that's not even all. There's still some nominations, executive yeah. and judicial, uh, that Chuck Schumer wants to get done. Now, tangentially to all of this, Hallie, uh, Republicans have seen some infighting in their ranks in both the House and the Senate this week that would call into question how, you know, how well they would be able to govern if they take control. I asked Kevin McCarthy, the House Republican leader, about this earlier. Let's roll the tape. Could you talk about some specific policies or bills that Republicans would pursue if you're in the majority? And the clashes that you've seen within your caucus earlier this week, if you're speaker, would that make it difficult for you to govern? Um, no, we're going to be quite fine. If, if we are given the trust to be the majority, we will tackle inflation, we will secure our border, we will bring gasoline prices down, and we'll focus on the economy. And Democrats have a different view of this, Hallie. They say a Republican-controlled Congress would mean more shutdowns, more brinkmanship, and empower far-right conspiracy theorists like Marjorie Taylor Greene. So there you have it, the stakes as described by both parties for the 2022 yeah. elections. So a whole lot going on, folks. And again, Bernie Sanders is trying to include a stimulus check for seniors in this current stimulus package. Now, there's a ton of stuff going on. The government uh, shutdown was avoided, but the government default still has not been. So they're trying to get the debt ceiling raised. Otherwise, they're going to default on their debts. And a lot of experts say we could fall into another recession. Now, at the moment, as far as negotiations, they're waiting for the Senate parliamentarian to give their final judgment as to what can be included in the package and what can't. Immigration will probably be taken out, but everything else is expected to stay in in regards to the Senate parliamentarian. Of course, then Democrats are still going to have to debate the thing themselves. Joe Manchin is going to try and take some things out, like paid family leave. He might even try and take out stimulus check for seniors, which is something Bernie Sanders is fighting for. Bernie wants to do at least a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors, and we're assuming that includes SSI and SSDI as well. Now, before we end this video, I quickly want to talk about some years back. Bernie Sanders was talking about Social Security benefits. This was during the previous economic crisis about a decade ago, and he was saying how seniors should be getting a $250 emergency stimulus check for that crisis. Now, this is something that Bernie Sanders has always fought for. Not only do people need stimulus checks in general, but seniors specifically need an additional stimulus check. First of all, because you've paid taxes your entire life. So if you've paid taxes for 40, 50 years, you're more entitled to another stimulus check, right? On top of that, you face more medical expenses. So I just wanted to share this with you. Bernie Sanders has always fought for seniors, always fought for Social Security, and honestly has a huge track record of trying to get stimulus checks for seniors done. So at the time, Barack Obama was president, and he was working with Bernie Sanders to approve a stimulus check specifically for seniors during an economic crisis, very similar to what Bernie Sanders is trying to do right now. All right, folks, so it's a little hard to see, but if you see here, Social Security President Obama called for a $250 rebate for seniors after the Social Security Administration announced that interest rates in 2010 have not risen enough to justify a COLA. So basically what they were trying to do is it was a year when there was no COLA at all, so they were trying to give seniors a specific stimulus check. Now that's something they should have done last year as well, right? For 2021, the COLA adjustment was like 1%, basically, right? Basically nothing. So... They should have given a stimulus check for seniors, just like Bernie Sanders and Obama wanted to do, a $250 stimulus check rebate for seniors for dealing with a low COLA 
and dealing with inflation during an economic crisis. So folks, really good to see that Bernie Sanders has always fought for seniors and has always tried to increase Social Security benefits and always tried to approve stimulus checks specifically for seniors. Now, currently, Democrats are negotiating the next stimulus package, and we should have a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks. So please subscribe, and I will keep you posted as things develop on the next stimulus package and Social Security changes as well. So with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, take care and have a great day.